The realization in the 1990s that a section of rocky, dry land near Thermopolis was an enormous trove of fossilized dinosaur bones led to the creation of the Wyoming Dinosaur Center, a rare pairing of a museum, fossil laboratory, and rich active dig sites, all in one. The thing that strikes me as distinctive about Wyoming Dinosaur Center in Thermopolis is the, what I guess I'd call what the, the facets of it. Obviously there's paleontology, geology, there's history, there's preservation, there's excavation, there's exhibiting, there's education, there's tourism, a little bit of retail as well, all here in one spot. How unusual is that in the country? How many places are there like Wyoming Dinosaur Center? Not very many. Uh, I no. know about two or three of them, yeah. We pride ourselves on offering the public an opportunity to actually go in the field and dig the fossils. Most places you can't do that. So you can see dinosaurs on, a, on display, but you don't get the experience to go to the actual dig site. That was actually the whole idea behind having the dinosaur center here is because the dig sites are very close by, not even two miles from here. And we do have the dig sites tours going out. Yes. Uh, some advertisement person called it the fresh dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's something that the big museums in the uh, in, uh, uh, way out east they, they can't they can't have that. And it's happening today. Yes. Um, what's a typical excursion to the dig site like? We have full day programs that run from eight to five. We have half day programs, a morning session and an afternoon session. We have kids dig programs. We have generations programs. We have a special teachers workshop. Uh, we develop lots of programs. Um, we have a high school program called the Dinosaur Academy that gets those high schoolers that are extremely interested in paleontology the opportunity to spend a week with us, um, sort of in-depth learning about paleontology so they can go into college, you know, having a little bit of, of knowledge. I would think for a high school student who's interested in this topic, coming here, it's got, it has to be one of the really rare and fantastic opportunities that that student couldn't get in a lot of other, most other places. We had kids that came to the kids' sticks and they are uh, paleontologists today. So we had a number of those.